So 183103 is murder in the second degree. You had two counts, right? Two of them are getting one got charged with was it negligent murder and the other one got charged with second degree murder. Second degree murder. He jumped on the hood of the fucking car. Did he deliberate? No, but did he knowingly do it? He should be charged with first degree murder. Andrew Bowen and Kyle Gould returned Wednesday. The indictments five months after Christian Glass was killed by law enforcement. You know, if a police officer was in a car and somebody jumped on the hood and killed that police officer, you'd have a huge manhunt. They would get the guy, take the guy, throw him in jail, you know, and probably rough him up, rightfully rough him up, right? But a police officer could jump on the hood of a car and kill an innocent person, completely innocent, didn't hurt anybody, didn't do anything to anybody, was the person that needed help, called 911. I'm stuck on a little rock. You got a push bar in your car? Can you go ahead and push me on my way? A person commits the crime of murder in the second degree if the person knowingly causes the death of a person. So murder in the second degree is knowingly causes the death of a person. Two, diminished responsibility due to self-induced intoxication is not a defense to murder in the second degree. Oh, I was drunk. Well, I was high on heroin. I didn't know what I was doing, except as otherwise provided in paragraph B of this subsection three, murder in the second degree is a class two felony. B, notwithstanding the provisions of paragraph A of this subsection three, murder in the second degree is a class three felony. Where the act causing the death was performed upon a sudden heat of passion caused by a serious and highly provoking act of the intended victim. Oh my God. Is that what they're going to try to do? He had a knife and he kind of jerked his knife. Oh yeah. The, the hero cop saved us that night when they killed Christian Glass. Christian Glass came at them with a knife. Better watch out. No, terrible Christian Glass came at them with a knife and they had to do what they had to do in order to defend themselves. They were provoking, and they kept provoking, and they kept provoking him. And all he did was just kind of, you know, looked over here and thought the guy was, like, really close to him. And then that's when they opened fire. If between the provocation and the killing there's an interval sufficient for the voice of reason and humanity be, to be heard, there is plenty of uh, an interval sufficient. This is for them, but do it the other way. Could them cops have been like, you know what? Maybe we don't need to murder this guy. He's just sitting in a car, not doing in, nothing to nobody. There's four of us. We got all these cop cars with the fucking lights and acting a fucking fool with the loud ass sirens and got our guns and fucking acting crazy. They're making fun of him because he had a little crystal. Oh, he had a little crystal. So we're going to make fun of a, a, a nice, peaceful, hippie, a young, peaceful hippie. We're going to make fun of him. Fuck you, you pieces of shit. I want more Christian glasses with crystals. Unless you fucking trigger happy killing sons of bitches, motherfuckers. Every one of them should have been indicted. They're all part of that shit. And they were probably doing it for the two women that was there anyways. And the women had guns pointed right at them. How are they not aided, aiding and abetting? For purposes of determined sudden heat of passion. So that's murder in the second degree. Murder in the first degree, it's just with the deliberation, right? Person commits the crime of murder in the first degree if after... Okay, it is... They charged it correctly. Murder in the second degree would be the correct charge. He didn't deliberate. You know, he didn't like walk out of his door saying that that was going to happen. But I wonder when he got the call, if he, you know, can you say he deliberated in route? Can you, it's not really planning. I don't know. I, I feel like they should get charged with murder in the first degree, charged with murder in the second degree. But a person commits a crime of murder in the first degree if after deliberation and with the intent to cause the death of a person other than himself, he causes the death of that person or another person. So there's deliberation and intent. That's A, B, either acting alone or with one or more persons. He commits or attempts to commit arson, robbery, robbery burglary, kidnapping, sexual assault. As prohibited by Section 18.342, a bunch of other stuff. By perjury or sub, uh, subordination of perjury. He procures the conviction or execution of an innocent person. So if you lie, if you testify, and you get that innocent person to get executed, you're guilty of murder in the first degree in Colorado. Under circumstances evidencing an attitude of universal malice, manifesting extreme indifference to the value of human life generally, he knowingly engages in conduct which creates a grave risk of death to a person or persons other than himself. I remember when Ralphie in The Sopranos was just like swinging that fucking sword or whatever and then hit the guy in the head. Yeah. I mean, if he would have killed him, right, then that would have been extreme indifference. He or she commits unlawful distribution, dispensation, or sale of a controlled substance. 
to a person under the age of 18 years on school grounds. And the death of such person is caused by the use of such controlled substance. That's also murder in the first degree. The person knowingly causes the death of a child who has not yet attained 12 years of age. And the person committing the offense is one of, in a position of trust with respect to the victim. It's an affirmative defense to the charge of violating subsection 1B of this section that the defendant was not the only participate, participant in the underlying crime. B did not commit the homicidal act or in any way solicit request. Uh, it's a class 1 felony. The statutory privilege between patient and physician and between husband and wife shall not be available for excluding or refusing testimony in any prosecution for the crime of murder in the first degree. As described in paragraph F in subsection 1. The child abuse thing. <clears throat> if you, you can't beat a kid under 12, <clears throat> under 12 to death. That's uh, murder in the first degree. That's murder in the first degree. And what's a uh, first degree... Class 1 felony has a maximum of what? This was before 2018. We need after 2000. Let's see. 2020. So murder in the first degree is class 1. Minimum penalty is life. And it doesn't say a maximum penalty. So I guess either life or execution. So yeah, class 1 felony. That's some serious fucking shit. Minimum penalty for a class 2 felony is 8 years in jail and $5,000. And a maximum penalty is 24 years in jail and $1 million fine. Mandatory parole period, 5 years if it's a crime of violence. 3 years if not a crime of violence. Mandatory parole period. Mandatory parole. That's crazy. So basically, you either totally get fucked with a class 1 felony or a class 2 felony... That really takes it down a whole bunch, right? You're not going to get 40 years in life, you know. You could get 24 years, a million dollars, that's the most. But in five years, you get a mandatory parole period. Mandatory parole period. So if you get sentenced to 24 years and there's a mandatory parole period of five years, that means after five I'm not for sure exactly what that means. But the minimum and maximum is 8 years, $5,000, 24 years, $1 million for a class 2 felony. And minimum and maximum is life in blank. Another uh, Class 3 felony is 4 years, $3,000, 12 years, $750,000. For class 5, 1 year, $1,000, 4 years, uh, 4 years, $100,000. Oh, okay. I thought I was, uh, I was only looking at... Oh, that's extraordinary risk. Okay, so that's four years. Three years for a regular class five felony. Mandatory parole year of two years. Class six is two years, $100,000, one year, one. Okay, so what does that, all that mean? It means uh, this person who is getting charged, Andrew Bruin, got charged with second degree murder. 183103, right? 183103. Second degree murder. So he can get up to 24 years in jail or a million dollar fine. That's the maximum. And then there's a minimum. Right? There's a minimum. Which was whatever I said before. So that's why I'm mentioning that. And then Kyle Gould. That Kyle Gould seemed like he was the commander. That Kyle Gould got negligent. You know, charged with negligent homicide. Here's manslaughter. He, so he doesn't even get recklessly caused the death of another person. He looked like he was the boss, the commander, the Mr. Shortman, the fucking old shorty, short shorts guy. Not vehicular homicide, but negligent homicide. And then you have freaking 10 pages on first degree murder and then negligent homicide. You just got one page of annotation. Any person who causes the death of another person by conduct amount to criminal negligence commits criminal negligent homicide, which is a class 5 felony. Wow, so this piece of shit murdered a motherfucker and he say, he's looking at the same charges He's a police officer, so we're just going to let him go. He's got a license to kill. Go ahead. Here's a gun and some bullets. Get on out there and shoot somebody. Who gives a shit, huh? And they want to say criminally negligent. If Kyle Gould is that fucking piece of shit that's right there next to him, you're, he was a creepy fuck. Oh, that's okay, Christian Glass. We're just trying to get you the help that you need. Lying right to his motherfucker, being a creepy fuck. Looking around, snooping, creeping, snooping. That motherfucker was, he precipitated the whole fucking thing. They're going to put it all on Andrew Boone, but Andrew Boone seemed like he was the warrior. He was the soldier. 
and the commander is going to fucking get a lesser charge. Isn't that how it always is? They go after the fucking soldier that they sent out to the field, but the goddamn, you know, generals and the, the brass, they don't get in any trouble whatsoever. So if you have criminal negligence, right, uh, just say you're supposed to look after your old, your old aunt. And uh, you said you was going to do it, and they paid you, and then like you went wandering somewhere, and then that's criminal negligence. Something happened. So that's just like, oops, oops. Didn't really mean to cause someone to die, but, you know, someone died. That's not this. Kyle Gould, oops. You didn't mean for it, but somebody died. And the grand jury is, you know, the people. And then the prosecutor was the one that was pushing for it. And then at the very end of the damn grand jury report, it said that it was a painful but necessary process. It's a painful but necessary process. An indictment means that the felony charges can proceed. You can't have a felony on somebody without a grand jury indictment. So, that's reading some of the law here. Grand jury has indicted two Colorado Sheriff's deputies in the death of a 22-year-old man who was shot after calling 911 for roadside assistance. Hey, 911, can you help me with roadside assistance? We sure can. Pow, 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 pow. There you go. You'll never get stuck on the roadside again. That's kind of psychotic. <laughs> hey, that's America. That's just how this is. Thin blue line, motherfucker. Nah, we don't know right from wrong. You're just a gang. You guys are just a fucking gang. So when you guys are acting like a fucking gang and you're not protecting and serving the neighborhood so there's no presence of justice in the neighborhood, do I got to reach out to the Bloods and Crips? Hey, Bloods and Crips, can you get us some justice in the neighborhood? We need a presence of justice in order for peace and prosperity, tranquility. You need to have a presence of justice in the neighborhood. You got to have. That's MLK 101. Charges against the two deputies, second degree murder, official misconduct, criminally negligent homicide. And it did not provide further details. That was terrible reporting, AP. <laughs> that was awful reporting. Andrew Bowen got the second degree murder charge. They both should have official misconduct. I mean, you murdered a motherfucking person. That's a... Uh, I don't think you could fucking do worse misconduct. Don't they say that with... um, If you're being loud, you know, you're being a public nuisance or a public conduct. Was it loud... Something stupid. Some dumb, tiny little, petty fucking misdemeanor charge that they always fucking say to people. Unruly, unorderly, something, I forget. Disorderly conduct. That's what official misconduct. Well, you're, he was being disorderly. He wasn't being disorderly. He killed a person. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. So you're telling me if a police officer is shot and killed and then somebody just charges him with disorderly conduct? That wasn't very orderly at all. The way he just shot that. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Christian Glass was sitting in the driver's chair, called the police, said, Hey, cops, you're the good guys, right? Can you give me a push? Can you? And they're like, Nah, we're not the good guys. There's like four or five people there. Only two people got... Federal judge issued warrants for both Bowen and Gould, who faces bonds of fifty thousand and twenty five hundred, respectively. <laughs> so Bowen has a fifty thousand dollar bond, and then that Gould only has twenty five hundred. If that Kyle Gould was that piece of shit with the fucking shorts and the fucking silver haircut, Fifth Judicial District Attorney Heidi McCollum, who impaneled the grand jury, Nicole Lentz, spokesperson for the Clear Creek County Sheriff, said in a statement, both officers have been terminated. Following the indictments. Why did, I mean, they haven't been convicted. So an indictment isn't a conviction. What? The sheriff's office on, ongoing, and he should have been fired for, for killing the person, not for the, oh God. Internal investigation found policy and procedural failures. Yeah, you, like, are you, are you sure? <laughs> You think? Yeah, you think? Uh, it's a little disorderly. There was some policy and procedural failures. Motherfucker just did a mass shooting. He isn't going to get the punishment that Christian Glass got that night. He killed innocent people. He's not going to get shot in a car like a dog, like he ain't shit. Late on June 10th, Glass called the police because his car had become stuck on an embankment. Body, body camera video showed Glass refusing to get out of the car while telling police he's terrified. 
making heart shapes with his hands to the officers. Let him be, you motherfuckers. Let him be. Let him be. Get the fuck on out of here, you piece of shit. That mother on the Johnny Hurley. Just be the change. Just ignore this and be the change. Yeah, you want to fucking make sure that what liberal hippie talk is irrelevant. If we're going to be the change we wish to see in the world, when a cop murders somebody, we're going to arrest that cop. And then we're going to give him a dispositional hearing and a preliminary hearing. Get him a lawyer. The judge is going to yell at him and berate him and treat him like crap. If he wants to get bonded out, he'll have to pay a big old fucking bond. Way too fucking much. $2,500 bond. That motherfucker killed a person. And he got a $2,500 bond. I got a $5,000 bond because I shot warning shots for somebody that was messing around the yard. Acting like he's going to drive over me, my dogs, my house. Who knows what he was going to do. I was peacefully walking my dog in my backyard. But Mr. fucking felony minister. Big rig felony minister needed to come talk to me oh hey felon what's up oh you're just delivering what a bunch of crap over to the illegal settlement to the guy who did a drive-by shooting you delivering guns and bullets over to him what he fired warning shots well that's at least a five thousand dollar bond what he shot and killed a person well that's at least a twenty five hundred dollar bond that's half and there's a dead person. What the fuck? What's good for the goose is good for a gander. Then another officer fired his gun, hitting glass six times. There's an officer walking towards the glass, and he just twisted. But it was like after, what, 30 fucking minutes? And they were like, hurry this thing along. We need to get this night over with. We need to hurry up and get this night over with. His son had been diagnosed with ADHD and apparently suffered from depression. I think he was actually the only person that was making any sense. Yeah, I probably should just go to like a mental health, per like get a profession. Just Actually, you could just not be a terrible piece of shit. You could just talk to me like a fucking human, you psychotic piece of shit. I mean, you would be pretty depressed. You live in a country where if you get stuck on a little rock and you call the cops, you get shot and murdered. Fucking, 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 fuck, fucking, fuck, fucking, fuck. That's a little depressing. That's a little... De I mean, you should have ADHD. Watch, look, all over, who knows? One of them motherfuckers, they brought five guns, right? You're not supposed to bring a knife to a gunfight. That's what they say. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. But they had five guns to a knife fight. They brought five guns to a knife fight, and then they still felt like they was the ones in danger. Just the insecurity of... People, you know, people are so fucking insecure and they're the ones that are the danger. That's why when the state police, the state patrol said, don't engage. That's interesting. Just don't engage. You engage with somebody, right? Just like with that blind person, you engage and then you argue with them. And now you just, you're having a pissing contest. Now you just want to show dude that you got the fucking authority to do whatever. And you know, you really didn't. Now you're getting indicted. Now you're being charged. And you know, this is actually unheard of. I'm glad that the indictments happened. It's not, you know, it's still not fair as equally fair as it could be. But I don't know. Go back 10, 20 years ago. Go back 20 years ago. No police officer is getting indicted for shit. But we got police reform here in Colorado. And so if they don't indict, she has to write an explanation of why she didn't see probable cause. Well, there was a 22 year old who was uh, murdered. You think there's probable cause of a crime? I don't know. I don't... I mean, there's a dead body there. There's blood all over the place. I know, but probable cause? He's a cop. He's on our side. Our side never gets in trouble. We always abuse them, the dumb, poor rabble. No, we're the untouchables. We're above the law. The rule of law says nobody's above the law, but that's not how America works. On paper, the ideals... Big Daddy Strange, Big Daddy Strange.